Now this one's kind of an interesting one to me. I don't know that I've seen an actual police boat tow somebody else's vessel in. So there's two people on the police boat besides the officers, of course, and then this jet ski behind them being towed in. Typically when I see something like this happen, they typically wait for the professional tow companies to come do this unless somebody's in a life-threatening situation of some kind. But that's just an interesting one. So the vessel's gonna pull up, and I mean the ski in front of them looks identical to this ski. I wonder if they're together. So our young lady looks like she's going to try and grab her stuff out of the ski. Again, just an interesting one, though. Because I, I mean, let me know in the comments below on your local waterways. Do you see something like this often? Like, if you were just broke down, would your local law enforcement tow you back in? Or would they make you get a professional tow company? Because it seems like a little bit of a liability in my mind, but I could be 100% wrong. That could be part of their responsibility of being out there on the water. Especially if you're in local law enforcement in a Marine division, let me know. Obviously, you would clearly know the answer. But he's grabbing his stuff off the ski as well. Just, once again, an interesting scene. And things are starting to pick up down here at the ramp. Even though it's an overcast, windy day, we are seeing crews like this just loading on the boat, heading out to the sandbar. It is one of those days the party crews are definitely down here going out to enjoy their day on the water. Kind of like this crew. So our girl's trying to undo the lines, but looks like she's struggling a little bit with it there. And now she's just going to hold it while they try and figure it out. And our guy pulls the boat back to tight. And the crew probably just needs a few moments and they're going to get out of here. So we're going to add to that Nevers right now because... <laughs> so I haven't seen this one before either. So the officers towed the jet ski in. This crew doesn't look real thrilled right this second. Talking with the officer. And it's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but you see the blue thing here? That is a flatbed tow truck that they are loading this jet ski onto a flatbed. I'm not 100% sure what's going on here right this second. I'm half wondering if these officers aren't taking this ski for some reason. Again, I'm not 100% sure, but something's definitely going on and there's a flatbed down here grabbing this ski and they are loading the jet ski onto a flatbed tow truck. So our crew may have life hacked this one a little bit <laughs> and now they're getting the free boat wash because the girls a little bit after they got on, I started noticing they were kind of looking down at the cushions a little funny and all of a sudden now the baby wipes have come out and this chick, she's cleaning his boat. And when I say life hack, I mean, imagine all the time we spend cleaning our boats when we get done with a boating day. I mean, all you gotta do is invite these girls down there with the boat already dirty and they will take care of it for you unreal that is just hilarious now in this i don't recommend this in the sense that i don't like somebody just sitting here on the dock they're probably going to be here for a little while now while the girls go through here and clean this boat which means they're going to occupy this dock for a little while which is not necessarily a good thing but still i mean like i said new new life secret unlocked here guys so just make sure to invite the ladies down have the boat filthy and in all likelihood if you invited the right ladies they're going to take care of it for you and they're going to clean this thing up but i'd probably leave some other cleaning stuff on the boat besides just the baby wipes for them to use so life can be a little easier and maybe they can get it a little cleaner And here we go, jet skis leaving on a flatbed. Again, I'm not 100% sure. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is this just being towed out of here? Or did the officers for some reason take it? I mean, they've got paperwork out. I, I really don't know. Here comes our next crew in on approach. And this one's always an interesting one. They've got the motor trimmed up pretty far. And I like to keep an eye on people when they do this because as we've mentioned many times in the past that when they've got the motor trimmed up like this, you don't have quite as much bite out of the prop. 
and that means that typically when they go to try and dock, the boat acts a little bit strange, just doesn't want to quite do exactly what they wanted to do, and that's the reason why. And many times when I see this, because people just didn't realize they did it, and our guy just trimmed it all the way out of the water, so he's aware now that it's trimmed up. I don't know why he trimmed it out of the water. I'm assuming he was trying to trim it up even more. I mean, the tide's a little low, but like nothing crazy. He should have plenty of depth under the boat right there. And there we go, he lowers it a little bit. And our guy gets all the way up into the bow pulpit. Gets a hand on the dock. Trying to get over the bow rail. Those pesky bow rails just get in the way sometimes. And he's trying to debate if he wants to go for it. It's another hand on the rail. One foot on the dock. There we go. But he kicks the boat back off. Leaves without any lines. And now the boat's drifting away as our guy is on the dock. And up oh, goes for the toss. We miss with the first one. And the, did we miss it? Oh, I, it looks like we missed with the second one as well. For a minute, I thought it landed on the dock. And there we go, third time's the charm. And let's see if our crew can get it pulled over. And there we go. But again, an interesting one. When I see the engine trimmed up like that, it's always a little bit of a struggle for these guys, but I think they should be good to roll now. I'll tell you what, 79th Street's a little unique for this one as well, where an actual party sometimes will break out on the boat ramp. It always happens the same way. Somebody will start playing some music, a few ladies will start dancing, the next thing we know, a few more will start dancing, and then it turns into a little micro party down here at 79th. I don't see this really happen at any of the other boat ramps we cover or any other boat ramp we visit, it's just here. But these ladies are going to finish it out for us, and we're going to go ahead and get out of here and join the party. Thanks for watching, crew. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at the inlets. My channel, Broncos Guru, does some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got Boats vs. Haulover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Haulover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.